Hi everybody, Syncretic Gardener here. I'm finally at the point where I'm ready to set up my vertical container garden. Um, I got the seven tiers. And there's one with soil over there. Mount it on the wheels. It comes with a stand. The wheels just pop in. You can choose to have them in or not. It still works fine. You just don't have the rolling capacity if you don't have them in. Um, so I got this this one um, and I mentioned it before but it's probably about a sixth of the cost of the green stock garden you know um, vertical container which has a lot of wonderful um, views and raves about it um, but I don't want to start that with that one because you know I am on a budget and if there's a mistake that I make with assemblage or even use I'd rather it be with with this one um, and you know this one's decent it seems pretty straightforward you you know simply you know put all these in the grooves you know the catches of water the grooves are going to be facing up and basically just fits in like that for all of them and they're like and then you you add your soil in next um, prior to stacking them so I'm going to do that next so after you put in your soil, you, you'll notice the holes that feeds the water down to the different levels. And I just remembered, hey, there's these caps that can go on these holes and prevent too much, you know, sediment from going down there. And they just fit on like that. There we go. So I'm going to follow suit for all of these and do the same. So here we are with the double tier. Um, you can see how they fit on. It just comes off like that. There's the hole here. There's the hole beneath that one that's right over the other one. And it's got this nice kind of flower shape that it just fits on kind of like in that angle. Right? Now this, even with all the tiers that are going to be on here, um, it's not going to be very tall. It's not the size that you know, it doesn't have the depth of the, the each container as some other ones. But it's going to be nice, I think, for my herbs and some smaller things that I want to grow. So let me finish setting the rest of these guys up. And let's see where we're going. Okay, so I finished setting it up. And I'm just showing you the height of it. Um, so it's just, you know, a little bit over three feet, I would say. Maybe, let's see, yeah, about three feet and change. Um, like I said, the wheels are optional. You can lock them out. There's a tab on them right there. You can lock it out. If you, if you don't, if you want to be more stationary or you just don't want the wheels at all, you don't have to put them on. If you saw from my other video, they kind of just pop out. Um, yeah, so I like the way it looks. Um, I wasn't looking for something very, very large, um, and this kind of will, you know, suit my needs. Um, I think that the um, accessibility of it's pretty neat because I can like just reach in right in here, put more soil in there. You can still see, you know, the holes, you know, the drainage holes. Um, so you can put water in the top and put it on down. You can also put water on the sides. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. That's my little vertical garden. I'm now gonna moisten my soil and you know do some direct sowing for some seeds and see what's going on with that. Well, I hope that was entertaining. Um, I kind of destroyed this little work area a lot, so I now I have to clean it up. But um, I hope it was helpful. So, syncretic gardener on the next chapter of my first vertical container garden. And I hope to continue now. I have another container coming. And it's really interesting. It actually came today. But it's interesting because it's a, you know, like a raised platform container. But it's made out of the material with some reinforcement of my grow bags. Um, so if you haven't seen some of the other videos I've made, um, you'll know I'm, I'm a renter. So... So I do want to be sustain, sustainable in what I do. I've worked a lot in the garden. I'm not able to plant in that garden edibles because of the high lead levels. 
and arsenic due to manufacturing years ago on you know in the area but I do plant a lot of my flowers and other plants there because the great pollinators and they're beautiful um, and they're important but I use for edible containers so I have a lot of different types of containers as you've probably seen I don't have a you know a huge amount of them but I have a good amount of different types of diversity of containers some you know I repurpose like plastic ones some I created some are terracotta pots some are this, um, but I got one from a company um, that it is a cloth container with reinforcements, but it's like a raised bed. So anyways, I'll have to show you that one, you know, when I set it up, but it's interesting. But right now I got to clean up all the mess. I got bags all around and stuff I did, but thanks for coming on this part of my journey with me and hope you have a good day. See you later. And um, if you have any suggestions for me, I'd love to hear it. And if I could help with anything, I would humbly try. Bye now.